And what really is important for me is this idea of describing cultures in their own terms and the need for new historical concepts, um, aesthetics, epistemologies, in which to build temporal narratives that are different from um, the idea of a new digital age of progress from the 1960s onward, that we are this kind of our norm today. Now, as a medievalist, the way I try to tackle those problems and questions is that, so how do I think about historicizing mediality, right? So I work with a lot of different media, and if anyone is a scholar of the Middle Ages or even pre-modern cultures, one knows that what is a text, what is um, an object, um, you know, all these kinds of things in medieval culture and pre and in the Middle Ages is very different. So. Um, I'm interested in how, when we historicize mediality, I'm looking at, I'm thinking about different sorts of textuality, objects such as manuscripts, effigies, tombstones, built architecture such as churches, and how these objects or cultures shape conditions or conditions the transmission of ideas. Now attached to that is how um, the acts of translation and communication are conditioned by different concepts of time. So this has been an ongoing theme that we've been trying to tackle with in our academy that for the in the, in the medieval period, of course, you have this notion of eschatological time where you have um, you know, the birth of Christ, then you have the second coming and the end time. And so it's a, I think that debate also intersects with um, an ongoing just um, questions about anachronism, how the past intersects into the present, and so on and so forth. So I think when we're talking about historicizing mediality, those two things for me, when I'm invested in specificity of objects, what we mean when we talk about media, and what we mean when we talk about time, when we situate media in, in that way.